The Sooners were certainly ready on Saturday. OU improves to 9-0 with a 52-9 win over Oklahoma State. Join head coach Bob Stoops and me next for Sooner Football 2003. Angle to the right. Fake. Here's a look. A flop pass in the end zone. And touchdown, Oklahoma. A lot of this. And he's right out of body. And he's sacked. He is sacked. Sack. Sooner fans, about 30,000 in attendance cheering their team as Oklahoma is the 89th Rose Bowl game champion. At the 9 yard line to the 10. And a 51 yard kick to the 20, to the 25, 30. Oh, what a great run to the 40. He can go all the way. 50. Kick. Oh, it's blocked. Straight block. Derek Straight blocked this into the end zone. Hey! As soon as they're going to recover it for a touchdown. Short drop. Looks down the middle. Bob's a long, long pass downfield. Touchdown, Oklahoma. And the Sooners are Big 12 champions. Tremendous. Hi everyone, welcome to the program. Bob Stoops and Dean Blevins here with you and coach a 52 to nine domination over Oklahoma State over the weekend. It was, a, it was an exciting game. Uh, you know it was, a, it was a game that had major importance in the conference race. Uh, find out who's gonna have the best opportunity and who at this, posi at this point in the year has got the best position going into the, you know, going after a Big 12 championship or to represent the South. We took another major step uh, on our way to, to gaining that. Uh, that's what makes it so special, and our players knew that. I think they knew it, too, coming in. Uh, it was all about who's going to have the best opportunity to compete in a championship game, and we still have three more games to go, but this was another step towards that, and, and um, we like it, when, it, when, it uh, when there's a lot on the line, when things matter, and when the game has importance, and that's what's great about playing it this time of year because it does matter in the conference race and who's going to get where, and our guys rose to the occasion and, and really could not be more pleased with the way they, their effort and also the effort of the assistant coaches and the job, the plan they put together. Uh, defensive staff was just incredible. Uh, Mike Brent, uh, Bobby Jack, Jackie, the, the plan they had put together was really uh, uh, just an incredible the way they put it together and played it. And offensively as well, we uh, had right at 220 rushing and passing, which yeah. is really good balance. Uh, they really did a nice job having the players prepared. And the kicking game, you know, it was an all phases affair. Uh, they, they really, uh, Trey was excellent again on the night, and so was Blake. Uh, Blake hit the ball well, and, and uh, you know, it, he, we only had three punts, I guess, through the whole day. Right. But he placed them in good spots, put one down on the nine-yard line, and, you know, so uh, really was pleased with the way he played as well. Well, you touched on it, but, but maybe you can uh, t say a little bit more about it. Uh, all games are big to you, and you make that obvious to us and to your team. But the Texas game and this game have, have had so much emotion in them, and your teams have played extremely well in those games. Well, you know, the last four years since we've been here, it's been Oklahoma or Texas representing the South in the Big 12 championship game. So our players understand that, and the win down there puts us a half game ahead of them in the conference race and getting to the championship game. Oklahoma State came into this game with one loss in the conference. Had they beaten us, then they would have had a, a half game uh, lead on us. So we, they, they, you know, we understood that, and they still have to play Texas. So we knew that the winner of this game, you know, uh, that's what I mean by importance to it. it. There was a lot at stake, and when there's a lot at stake, I like the way our guys are focused and prepared, and and came out and played, and um, and demonstrated why at this point they're nine and zero, and got a chance uh, to continue to pursue not only Big 12 championships, but even. Uh, hopefully, uh, if we can keep improving, uh, there's something maybe more in the national championship as well. And the Sooners remain undefeated and remain the number one team in the country and will be number one according to the BCS when that comes out tomorrow. Stay with us. It was very exciting from the beginning. First quarter highlights when we return. Sooner football 2000. From the beginning of the season, we tried to execute it, and you know it, it got called, and so we had to make a play. Well, describe it. You, you get the ball, and he's pretty wide open. <laughs> and he, I mean, if you miss him, you got egg on your face, isn't it, right? Right. Um, you know, I got the ball and tried to sell it very well, and I got I got it sold very well. And MC bro just broke on the ball, and I just tried to put it out in the corner of the end zone. And he made a nice play on it. Oh, that was beautiful, man. Uh, something we worked on, uh, we had put in since the beginning of the season, and. 
just we're able to come out and execute. Like I said, we need to come out and execute all our plays and hit the big plays, and, and we did that. Coach just said, be patient, you know, run hard, and just stick it in there. You know, it'll be there, the holes will be there, just run hard. And uh, that's what we tried to do, you know. Um, as the backs, we all tried to hit, hit the hole where they said it'd be and just keep plugging away and it helped us come out with a victory. It, it feels pretty good. Uh, we know that we, we have Jason there, we can count on him, and he's there any time that we need him, but it, it feels great to know that we have a great running backs like we do, and Ronaldo and Kiwan, and we can go out there and run the ball too, to be more balanced. I've been here, it's my third year here, and we hadn't beat them yet, and uh, it's a game that, you know, you gotta, we, we gotta win, and it's a game, it's a huge game, I mean, it. I, we thought about it every single day, especially. I mean, I thought about that game every day. It hurt, and uh, to win like we did, and uh, here at home, it's just awesome. You know, Dusty Dvorak was one of the guys up front, Bob. That you said all along that the key to the season so far, if you had to pick a group out, has been the pressure from the defensive front, and maybe the biggest key going into the OSU game was the same thing. Absolutely, their pro, uh, their their production through the year has been excellent, and again. Um, you know, the other night we had four sacks uh, and uh, we had great coverage though as well. It was really a great defensive plan and to hold them to 62 or 60 yards passing for the entire day and, and under 100 yards rushing for the day. I think that total 160 yards for the entire day and, and defense itself had a shutout. Uh, you yeah. know, the, the defense didn't surrender a point uh, really the whole day. So. Um, really proud of the way they, they played. And offensively, again, the balance that, that, yeah. that uh, Wes was talking about, to be able to run. We have Jason there, but, but to run uh, like we did, uh, you know, was really satisfying to see when you rush for over 200 yards in a, in a tough game. And then uh, we still had a lot of big plays. And you think about it, we had a lot of big plays that were right on the, you know, we, we had a yeah. couple of touchdown passes or plays that were right on the edge of the boundary, you know, just, just barely out. Uh, or they called him out and then uh, had one drop uh, for a touchdown as well, you know, that, that we're just, just a hair off from having several more. All right, let's go to the highlights. And for you statistic nuts, Bob, I guess the, uh, the defense didn't give anything up. Game day there. There you see Lee Corso and uh, Herb Street, Fowler somewhere there. Yeah, it was good. Uh, those guys are always fun to, fun to have. It gets the whole country, uh, you know, on your location. And we've had them here to see our game. I don't know, this is probably the eighth or ninth time. And, in the last three years, which is uh, probably more than anybody else in the country, which tells you, again, we're in a lot of big games, and, uh, and we like that setting for sure. Trey DiCarlo will kick this through, and to finish that quick thought, the defense is stuck with nine points that it did not give up, so statistically, sometimes that's not the fairest thing. Here, Oklahoma State takes it over, and Tatum Bell is the lone back. Start off here, and they uh, start off with a four or five yard game, and gain, and you know, good, good run for them there. Uh, throw a short stop right there. Just short of the first down. And here we're going to come up with a bunch of short yardage stops. Uh, Teddy Lehman there with a great tackle on third and short. Keeps him from getting the first down. Watch Teddy come up and wrap him up, pull him back. Tommy Harris knocks him back. Offseason uh, strength and conditioning. Yeah. Yeah. He shows up there. That's, that's a big play on third down. Force a punt. Here we're going deep right off the bat. Uh, just, just out of the reach of Brandon Jones, who's going to be here on our show here in a little bit. Nice run here by Ronaldo Works. Good hole, good pickup. That's for eight. Here we go, third down, and just a little, just a little off with our timing right there on that executing that slant. 55-yard kick by Ferguson. And here you go. It's a great sack by Dan Cody, causes a fumble, and Jonathan Jackson recovers. And I'm sure we'll see it again. And, Great, uh, great call uh, by Mike, uh, Mike Stoops. We had switched our coverage here when, uh, you know, uh, right at the line of scrimmage, made him hold the football, and Dan Cody gets great pressure and rips the ball out, and uh, Jonathan Jackson's there to recover it. So really an ex uh, excellent play, excellent defense. Sooners get it at the 11-yard line, second and 10. Pick up the blitz really well. You see, there's a there's a blitz. Uh, they had six guys up there rushing. We picked them up, blocked it well. Here we go with the slant and go. Here's one of those two that's, you know, looked like it was in, but he, he's got a good look at it. You have to trust the officials, and uh, he called them out. So we're just, again, just inches away from having another touchdown right there. Defense sets up the three-pointer to Carlo Good, and the Sooners will kick it off. 
at two will be a touchback. He's really improved in this area, hasn't he, Bob? Yes, he's gotten stronger and and, uh, and better. You know, with with driving the ball out. This is the second series that it will be three and out. Dante Nicholson with a good strong tackle. Here's a, uh, another runoff line of scrimmage. Derek Strait from the secondary there with Pasha Jackson. Good to have Pasha back. Watch the two of them right there at the point of attack. Good play. Good support by Derek. Here we come on third down and, and uh, Dante Nicholson's close to him. They're not able to complete it. Force another punt. This is from the 39-yard line. Ronaldo for five. Coming back after it. Ronaldo sticks it up in there. Uh, you know, just for a couple. Sometimes there's better hold than others, but you got to get something out of it. Offsides, Oklahoma makes a first down. You'd made a first down with a pass anyway, but you probably got a foot more, so it doesn't help Jason's stats. Yeah, I, I, I should have declined it. When I looked across the field, I thought we were going to gain a yard or two, and uh, really it was pretty close. Yeah, it was close. Good, good completion there. It's a play action pass. Going a crossing route to, to Mark Clayton, and you see Mark pops right back up. Well hit, uh, good, good, good defense there. Hit him, uh, you know, right as he's trying to catch the football. And so here we come, still, still pushing it. Another play action pass, and another one that's just barely, barely on the edge. So, you know, you're, we've had a couple of opportunities. It's just, just need to get another foot in. This is so much different than in your, in your past, it seems, Bob, such an aggressive, vertical-oriented game. Yes, well, this, is a, this is a great play by Jawan Rankins. Uh, you, this is a third down play, third and long. Look at the great protection. They, they're blitzing. You know, everyone wants to talk about the blitz. Uh, he's, they picked it up great. And look at that catch with the guy all over him and gets a foot down. Jawan Rankins is a big player for us and uh, really doing a great job. That's a big play. He, he only caught one ball on the day, but that's as big a play as, uh, as we had because of what it, on third down, it, it got us down here with an opportunity to score. Kiwan Jones rams it in, a two-yard touchdown, and after the DiCarlo kick, the Sooners will go on top 10 to nothing. Good run here. Watch uh, Kiwan Jones here with a strong, tough run inside. Look at him get low, keep driving, puts himself in the end zone. Good, good run. He had a solid game, didn't he, Bob? Very good game. He and Ronaldo works. Uh, had a bunch of yards and uh, Ronaldo 103 and, and Kiwan, uh, I'm not sure, about 90, 87, I think. 87 yards. So uh, that, that's good running uh, by, by the two of them. 50 rushes on the day. Kiwan gets 22 of them. There's another sack by Dan Cody as you watch. He's play action pass, gets around the corner, gets the sack, along with uh, Corey Klein was coming to make it get pressure as well. Good play on third down. Backed up here, trying to come off the goal line. Second and 14 after the penalty prior to that other play, and this is a three-yarder, third and 11. Nice uh, defense there. We're trying to get the ball over the middle and uh, not able to quite execute it. Good, good kick here by Blake. He has trouble handling it. Tries to pick it up again, and uh, there's a bunch of guys fighting for it, and fortunately, we got it. Good play uh, initially by uh, Mark Bradley and Will Peoples, our two outside guys that are out there covering the punt and really hustling down. Look at Mark Bradley there, you know, right away to, to hit him first, and, and then a host of other guys there. Mark Bradley had another big game for the Sooners. That's the end of the first quarter, 10 to nothing. We've got more for you when we come back. Big second quarter for Oklahoma. Sooners have it near midfield. It's a nice way of getting the screen. Jason was, uh, Kiwan got kind of stuck in the line there. We're trying to get out on the screen. So he just flipped it to him and, and still, ex you know, picked up some good yards there. Third and four. Good job to see Jason go through all his reads and ends up picking up Mark Clayton again. Mark Clayton's first six receptions were good to convert on third downs. So uh, we really were good on third down, uh, you know, our third down percentage on offense. 
Uh, Mark Clayton, and Jason White, that combination picked up a bunch of them. Good strong run there by Ronaldo. Uh, their ball was just deflected, right, as uh, trying to get it to Mark Clayton. And come back with another pass. Excellent protection. You see Jason got a good pocket to step up in another third down clutch play there. Uh, Jason, look at the protection he has. Steps up in the pocket and delivers a good ball to Mark. Eight of 13, Bob mentioned third down conversions. That was the efficiency. Cowboys only four of 16. That, that was great uh, run right here. Watch Kiwan Jones stick it up inside and running hard. Look at him keep driving and gets the ball down close to a first down there. There he's going to get it again. Good, strong running right into the end zone. Really good. Great job by the offensive line. They were all giving game balls. Uh, the way we ran it, you know, everything starts with them up front and uh, the protection they gave them. That's a good, strong run by Kewan getting it in. J.D. Ronald's also leading them right in front of him, like always. This is a big play by your coverage unit. Really, uh, they do an excellent job getting down. Russell Dennison first knocks him off the mark, and then uh, there's Brodney Poole, Russell Dennison again, Clint Ingram, Mark Bradley, all those guys down there covering. Great job pinning them inside uh, inside the 10, I believe. Look at Russell gets him first. Here comes Jason Carter. Russell Rodney Dennison Poole. has been a mainstay for you, have you? Yes, he's for a been, while. He's worked hard on all our special teams, and uh, he's done a good job. Good play there by uh, Dusty Dvorak, uh, hitting him in the backfield with Tommy Harris. See, Dusty hits him first, and there's Tommy helping, and uh, Gayron Allen getting a piece. There they go with the quick toss, get it contained, and uh, good defense. Brodney Poole and Gayron Allen there getting a good tackle. Secondary was much improved over a season ago in this game. Well, let's let's face it, we, the secondary. We've played a lot of good defensive games around here. Um, you know, it isn't like we, you know, we haven't stopped anyone before. There's another third down stop. Uh, you know, we've played very good defense. Uh, you know, for a good number of years here, and there's been very few games where we haven't. So there, it, it's, I don't believe it's really. Uh, you know, you, you, ought, you ought to be able to expect that, you know, from these guys. They played a lot of big games and a lot of good ones, and, um, and they did it again in this game. That was a return of 21 yards to the OSU 40. Good field position. That, 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 that return was big. Set, set us up inside the 50. Good run there by Kiwan Jones. Bouncing it outside, and you can see it right in front here. It's, Sure, JD's out in front of him out there with, with the, you know, making a block, and Kiwan does a nice job bouncing outside and getting extra yards. Again, a blitz protected. And there's another close, uh, you know, almost make it. Mark just had the wind knocked out of him for a second, but almost another touchdown. We're just, uh, just a little bit off on. You got to keep going after him though, because we'll get our share of him. Come back here on third down. Jason steps up in the pocket. And again, nice third down pickup. Brandon Jones with the catch. Again, Brandon Jones standing by. We'll talk to the wide receiver after the second quarter. Another good run. That Carol. one goes incomplete. Yeah, we got a little pressure there that we didn't step out on and pick up. And here's a nice touchdown, well executed, good protection. Brandon Jones uh, there with a good, good catch and good touchdown. That's Jason sitting there really well and throws a perfect ball to a wide open Brandon Jones. Good, good execution, good play call. Sooners go up 24 to nothing at this point. Eight plays, 40 yards, and to Carlo kickoff. This was uh, one of. He just mishit it. We wanted to hit the ball deep, uh, high, and until about the 15-yard line and hang it, or 20-yard line, and he got it to the 35. So <laughs> he just miscalculated, I guess. Miss, uh, miss a tackle there, and he gets a few extra yards. Yeah. Here they bounce around us. Good job coming in there by Brodney Poole. Here's a screen outside. and. Uh, Brandon Everidge and uh, Lynn Magruder there on the tackle. Tip and just 
gains four or five yards. Deshaun Woods, only four catches, 25 yards. Cody with, I think that's his third. Yep, third sack of the first half. Great job, just speed rushing around the end. Dan, such great quickness and really just ankle started feeling decent just a day before this game and really came up big for us. Saying after the game he wasn't 100% in the warm ups, but he said adrenaline took over and it was no problem. <laughs> Dan's the best, he couldn't wait to play. That's the hardest part of games like this. You, you have a hard time waiting until Saturday. Here's a, we have a screen called and, and uh, their defensive end just read it, came out and got in the, uh, you know, just got in the path of where the screen is and, and uh, made a good play. But we're gonna step up here on defense. Here comes Derek straight on a blitz and make him pump it, go out of bounds and, and uh, well out of bounds. Wasn't it again the pressure making him hold it a little long? And Hopefully, you know, yeah, the pressure's there and good good play there by uh, Antonio Perkins on third down. They're trying to guess a pump and go or whatever. And, and, uh, Antonio's able to get a piece of it and force a field goal. Rodney close to getting this. But Oklahoma had one more series. We'll skip that because it's the end of the half and there's your score, 24 to three. Stay with us. We'll be talking to Brandon Jones when we come back. Welcome back, everyone. One of the Sooners' outstanding players. We talk a lot about the wide receiving core, and it's deep, at least six deep. But, Bob, you have a big play guy here who has really emerged this season. Absolutely. Brandon Jones from Texarkana, Texas. <laughs> right? Yes, right, BJ? Uh, junior wide receiver does a great job, but... Not only is B.J. a great wide receiver for us, he's a great baseball player on our baseball team, center fielder. Yes, sir. Is that right, B.J.? Yes, sir. Now, let me ask you, though, uh, what do you like playing? The what's more fun, catching a touchdown pass or hitting a home run? <laughs> That's the hardest question I've always been asked. I, I don't know. Both feelings are great, so I wouldn't be able to pick between either one of them. Which coaches are harder on you, football or baseball? Football. <laughs> Coach <laughs> me <and> you. <laughs> uh, well, Larry Koshel surely is complimentary of you. And I guess the other part of it is there's been some of us who have tried to play two sports that after a year maybe the football coaches didn't want to do that. Has he lived up to his promise of letting you uh, go play? <laughs> yes, sir. He's been, he's been pretty good about it. I mean, he hadn't been on my butt about it, so. <laughs> pretty good about it. Hey, I, I love seeing them, you know, if they're, they're capable. I don't want to see them sit in the bench somewhere else, but if they're, <laughs> they're out there playing, I'm all for it. Brandon, you have emerged into a, a big-time player, and I think a lot of people thought that when you came in, but this has really been a sort of a breaking out season for you. Yes, sir. I've been waiting on my chance to play. Uh, we had a lot of guys, and they, they've gone through a lot. They won a lot of games, and it was hard to get into the rotation, but uh, I finally got my chance this year. Brandon, what are some of the factors, you know, uh, we see deep balls, you know, uh, everyone throws them, but what, what makes it, uh, why are we having so much success with it, I guess, is where I'm going with it, as you look at it, uh, in the way Jason throws it and in, in the way we're attacking people. Jason, uh, he puts the ball on the money. We work real hard. Uh, we've been working with him. What, what do you got on here? Uh, we just had to get open. Uh, it was a third down play, and we always talk about the money now, so I had to make that work out. And what'd you run on this play here? Right here, I just ran a corner out, and MC pointed at me and told Jason, BJ's going to be wide open. So he's like, look at him. <laughs> <laughs> so he was he was tipping Jason off on where to go with the ball, huh? Uh -huh yes, sir. So Mark Clayton's even telling Jason what to do. <laughs> And what's that little move you had in the end zone? You flexing for everybody? <laughs> I, did, I hadn't noticed that. I don't know. Uh, sometimes I don't know what I want to do in the end zone. But well, you better not get a penalty. <laughs> <laughs> now, what do we have on here that you broke so uh, clean on and, and on the deep ball right there? Well, we had been faking a lot of uh, toss to the sideline, so we figured we could fake one toss and just put the ball in the air, and Jason threw a perfect ball down the middle of the field while getting hit. Now, when you're running that route, all the people watching you and that the defender looking right at you. What are you trying to do? Uh, I'm not trying to do anything. I don't, I don't even, I block out everything and I just try to focus on the ball and catch the ball because I don't want to get chewed out. I don't want to drop the ball. <laughs> well, what about running your route? How, you know, are you are looking, trying to drive him outside to get back inside or step on his toes and go past them? Well, I was just trying to get through, uh, trying to make him think that I'll be blocking him first and then started out jogging and they never even caught up to me, so. Before we look at baseball video, I've got to ask you about Jason White because he's a Heisman leader at this point. What makes him special? What makes him special is uh, his ability to want to do things. Uh, he, all, he wants to get the job done and he wants, everybody, he wants to make everybody better. 
and I think that he provides a, a good feeling for everybody around him. Leadership. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes, sir. Well, we're going to look at some video of baseball, and Bob, you make it out to women's basketball games, a lot of other things, and uh, here's the, here are the Sooners in baseball, and there's a 6'3 kid playing. You don't see a lot of big, tall kids That's in baseball. a good-looking guy out there on the baseball field, and uh, now what, what was your hitting average last year, uh, Brandon? Uh, last year, I think in the, Big 12 country, in the Big 12 Conference, which counts, I think I batted 308. That's pretty good. <laughs> but overall, it was it was pretty low, probably 260. Yeah, just it? talk about the Big 12. Yeah. 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 <laughs> How many home runs did you have? Uh, last year, I didn't even hit any. I just, well, uh, you must might have to get in the weight room a little more. I know. Uh, Smitty, I guess Smitty didn't get to me. <laughs> <laughs> How good's this club? Real good. Uh, I see the guys, and we all work together real hard, and we always seem to want to do things together a lot. And uh, it, we, we always we just come together real well out there on the field. Does do, do you get fired up? I, mean, I don't really know where to go with this, but Bob has a way of inspiring people without being a rah-rah guy, it seems to me. Yes, sir. Uh, he, he gets us pumped up without even knowing it, I guess. Uh, we always get fired up, him just talking about it, and uh, there's no trash talking. We just go out there and we'll pry for team, so it all works out. All right. We've got a good chemistry going, for yeah, sure. I, I would think so. Brandon, thanks, thanks and thanks good luck. Uh, Thank you. And I guess in baseball a little later. All right. All right, Brandon Jones, our special guest. Stay with us. Another big quarter coming up. That's the third. We'll see you in a minute. Welcome back to the program. Coach, you have a lot of depth at receivers, but you, you use a lot of them. Oh, they all play, and they all play a lot, you know, and you're running as many deep routes and, and throwing the ball as much as we are nowadays. Uh, uh, all of those guys, each and every game, are coming up with big catches and a good number of catches, and, and we do. We play, uh, we play six guys in there through the whole game, and they're all getting a good number of snaps and yeah. making plays, and it's really, uh, it keeps them fresh, keeps them running good routes, and and I uh, really like the way it's going right now. Obviously, they're pretty happy. Okay, locker room, what thoughts, adjustments uh, do you make? Well, we, uh, we felt like we were just a hair off on, you, as you saw, a couple of those passes. They just keep doing the same things on offense that we're doing, keep running it. You know, a few of those little, uh, again, we were just out of bounds or just beyond the end zone and a player or two throwing the ball. Uh, defense, uh, we were playing great. Uh, felt like, you know, uh, there, there weren't a lot of adjustments to be made. Just yeah. keep doing what we're doing and playing smart. And uh, we felt like we gave them three points at the end of the half with the interception. But still, we're up 24 to 3, uh, up 21 points. But we want to come out of the locker room just like it's 0-0 zero, zero, and let's finish the game and then play like we did the first half. And obviously the intensity was still there. And I think some in the stadium were thinking, well, just we'll see how they come out. And came out like gangbusters. There's, uh, yeah, the offensively, I think in the first uh, series or two out of halftime, we probably could have played a little bit better. But, uh, but overall, we, we still uh, make plays when we needed to. There's a, there's a pass, uh, you know, that they changed their coverage on us and, uh, you know, kind of baited us into throwing that, and we made a nice play and stepped in front for a touchdown. So that's not the way you want to start the half off. And, so we gave him a, gave him a touchdown, and, and that's not true. They, they earned it. He made a nice play on the ball, but uh, we helped him, <laughs> I yeah. guess, by putting it there. And uh, so anyway, it's, uh, and they missed the extra point, so it's 24 to 9 now. An excellent run here by Ronaldo Works. Good blocking up front for them. Uh, for the forum, uh, the offensive line really made a nice hole. They had a personal foul on that as well, which moved the ball to the 50. Do you come out thinking uh, run and be physical a little more than you did in the yeah, first half? Well, just keep, no, just keep the same mix. Uh, there's an excellent, again, the, the blitz. Uh, they, they're bringing the blitz. We pick it up, and Mark Clayton's inside, and Jason throws an excellent ball in there to Mark Clayton, and good pickup. Mark had a big day. Six receptions, I believe, for right at 100 yards. There's another one, you know, play well, good defense there. He, he was, you know, knocks the ball out, but we're real close uh, to, again, to have another big play. Come back with the trap inside. You know, there are not many deep balls that either you don't complete or the ball's not on the money where you have, a, you chance have a chance at it. Right. And there was a third down where we didn't pick it up, and Blake Ferguson does an excellent job of punting the ball inside the 10, and there's Mark Bradley again with a nice... Uh, reception off of the punt. Yeah. Most people don't understand that you can do this. Yes, you can catch the ball as long as they're uh, not in position to catch it and keep it from going in the end zone. Probably could have let that go a little deeper, but uh, that's okay. Better safe than sorry. 
We come right back with the corner blitz. You see Derek straight. Uh, we see this again. We thought he was, at first they weren't going to throw the flag, but he was in the pocket. See, you can only get rid of the football like this if you're out of the pocket. We never got out of the pocket on the boot because we were after him so fast. And, uh, you know, and Derek had a great call. Mike had the corner blitz on. And now we still almost had a safety. And uh, so anyway, it was a penalty. Backed him up. We thought he was in the end zone when he threw it. Good call, Derek. Yes, uh, yes it, was, it was excellent call. And, and uh, still almost had a safety on the run, but still a good third down stop. Forced him to punt out of their end zone. We're going to get great field position. Antonio almost did what they did uh, a little earlier and uh, needs to secure the football right there with all those people coming after him. Great field position for the Sooners. Ronaldo, excuse me, uh, Kiwan Jones for three. And there's Ronaldo works right in back of him. There's a rare drop by Mark. That doesn't happen very often. And here's a fourth down that uh, we weren't we weren't going for this. We were going to draw them off sides and take a penalty. And Jason got did miscommunicated with the signal, and uh, so we ended up snapping it, which was a breakdown on all of our part to, to let that happen. We we were going to pump the ball and back them up, so we kind of gave them a break there. And good defense right there. Dante Nicholson knocks the ball out. Good blitz right there. Uh, by Brandon Shelby and forces a quick throw and he's not ready for it. Look at Brandon hitting him right before he, he wants to throw it and uh, he's well covered anyway so uh, good good stop there on third down. We haven't mentioned that you have a linebacker Wayne Chambers who didn't play but other players filled in well on defense. Yes we were uh, had our uh, that was our third middle linebacker you know of the season so far so uh, with Wayne out last week uh, Gayron Allen went in and look at Look at uh, Ronaldo works run hard right there. That's uh, you love to see that. You see the other helmet, the other team's helmet pop backwards. You know he's running hard. But anyway, Gayron Allen went in there and really did a nice job. Another uh, great pass there to Mark Clayton and good execution by Mark and good running again after the catch. Look at all the time Jason has in there. Delivers a good ball right, right in the money. Mark does a nice job running with it. He's got a pump and go, and look at that pass right on Mark's hands, and it's, he's kicking himself. He knows he had a touchdown and, and just dropped it. Of course, a couple of those completions gets Jason White over 300 yards on the day and probably four touchdowns. There's a, uh, not quite the stats that he ended up with. Another strong run, though, by uh, Ronaldo Works back to back right here. In fact, he got a personal foul on the late hit out of bounds. And, here he is again with an excellent run. Really a great run right here. You watch, I thought he was in. Yes, he isn't. Yeah, it, from the sideline it looked like he was, but that's uh, uh, a good, strong run. Watch it. Uh, good hole initially. Breaks a tackle here. Going for the corner, trying to get the ball ready to stick over the pylon. A good job taking care of it and just, just short. Great run, though. White will rush and score here. Is part of the reason you think that Ronaldo works is playing better, Bob, because he's getting more snaps and more into a rhythm than in previous years? Uh, I, we've always felt he's been very good, you know. Um, he, he just has more opportunities now, sure. Uh, I think anyone would argue the fact that we've had Quentin Grip in the last few years was pretty good, too. And uh, <laughs> so, you know, Ronaldo's getting more opportunities and making the most of them, and he's, a, he's an excellent player. Here they uh, mishandle their uh, handling the football, and Matt McCoy's trying to wrestle him down. <laughs> Guess what? Get some help from his buddies and get him inside the 20 again. So it's 31 to 9 when the Cowboys take over. Here they try a screen, and Antonio Perkins is all over it, and then there's Dante Nicholson and a bunch of other guys. And that was Rashawn Woods, one of his four receptions. Here they come with a toss sweep. The guys are all over it. Great job there. Initially, I think that's Corey Klein who makes the first hit. A lot of crimson there and a lot of crimson in the stands. With another blitz and they catch a slant for the first down. Here comes a boot. And uh, well played. Dante Nicholson's all over it. Really gets very little. They mishandled the snap, so we got him third and ten. Here we come with another blitz. And uh, almost intercepts. There isn't anyone even close to that, but Derek Strait, and Derek usually going to catch that. And here they mishandle their 
trying to punt the ball and uh, can't get the snap. So we get another good, uh, another, I like the turnover, I guess, and get great field position. Bob, I was mentioning the crimson in the, in the crowd. I'm sure that that was a, a rattling factor as well. Yeah, we had, a, you know, the fans were giving a game ball. They, here's a great play. Uh, look at that ball. That's a great pass there. That's uh, uh, Mark Bradley uh, there on the reverse throwing to Mark Clayton. So uh, Mark's an excellent thrower. He's a former quarterback. Everyone knows his father, Danny Bradley, great quarterback here. And look at Mark. He might have a contest. See who throws a better ball. That's a perfect pass to Mark Clayton. But um, fans were great. Uh, you know, we really appreciate it. And they were giving a game ball in the locker room. And, We'll put it in our trophy case for them, and it's the loudest I've heard it since we've been here. Well executed right there. Fans given a game ball. That's right. We're going to we'll mark the game and put it in the trophy case for them, and, and uh, really appreciate them jumping in and participating in the game like they did. Here's the one play the whole, gay, uh, whole day uh, that they had of any success, and they kind of... He just lost uh, position on the ball. Dan Cody almost had him played, and our safety just uh, squeezed inside too much and let him out. Uh, but outside of that, uh, we may have uh, held him right at 100 yards for the whole day outside of that one play. Good defense. Dan Cody hits him in the back there. Stay with us 38 to 9. We've got some great defense coming up in the fourth quarter. Cowboys in the middle of a drive, and Bob, this will be a, an extraordinarily de defensive effort. Yeah, it's going to be great. Uh, you'll get that great pressure right there by Tommy Harris. I uh, was hitting a quarterback, you know, before he could throw the football. Here they pick up just enough for the first down on third down right there. Here they try a quick sweep. Look at Antonio Perkins run him down and make a good tackle there. Here we come on second down and try a pass. We got it covered. Derek straight out of the secondary, comes up, tackles him just short of the, of the goal line. Watch it right here. Going to stop him uh, here on third down. Here, here it comes with excellent penetration up front by a D-line. See everybody hit him in the backfield. Gayron Allen, Dante Nicholson hit him in the backfield before he could get things going. See Gayron right there and, uh, and Dante. Excellent play. Here comes fourth down. And we stop it. Tommy Harris is in there uh, initially. You see Tommy knocks their guard right back into it and a host of other guys are there to finish it off. Watch it in the backfield. Tommy's the first guy that drives the guard in there and then Gayron Allen, Derek Strait hit him in the backfield to finish it. Great play on fourth down to keep him out of the end zone. Shows a lot of pride not letting them in. They're going to let their offense in the end zone the entire day. That, that's, a, that's good work. Sooners will take it 99 yards. Here we come with a couple back to back. Good strong runs pushing it off the goal line. Third down, another third down pickup. There the Will Peoples for a nice catch. Draw play. And, uh, still gets up in there for five or six. Those are good runs. Here we go with a quick, uh, quick to the line, running a quick toss sweep, and uh, picks up the first down. That's going to set up our touchdown later. There's a good strong off tackle play. Come back with the same play. And here we fake that same quick. Toss and you see Jason throw the ball up to Brandon Jones. Just outrun, outruns the whole secondary and makes an excellent catch for a touchdown. Blitz coming and White gets hit as soon as he's about to throw it. Watch, he sees it coming. You can tell he feels it too and uh, just throws the ball up there and good height to, to, let J, uh, to let BJ run underneath it and a good play. Some quarterbacks flinch in that situation. You can't throw it right. like that if you do flinch. Some don't put enough air under it or get it high enough where he can adjust to it. He throws an excellent deep ball. Big play here coming by Nicholson. Good tip there by Gayron Allen. And, and Antonio Perkins tips it. And again, and Dante Nicholson there to make the interception. Good play. Watch Gayron Allen makes the good initial play, which is great. And Antonio tips it to Dante. 
Good play uh, there. You got to give the credit to Gay Ron Allen there first. Looks like he had a good game. He did. He had an excellent game. Was given a game ball and uh, really did an excellent job stepping in there to help us win. Look at that good, good strong run by uh, Dante Hickson. Ten yards. Here we come back with the draw. We got some of our backups in there now. Some of our twos and you see Paul Thompson in there handing to Dante uh, Hickson. Again, good strong run up inside. Dante doing a better job taking care of the football. Again, off tackle there, gets a few. Here we go, Paul Thompson. Again, you get your back up in there. You six minutes, five minutes to go in the game. You gotta let him, gotta let him play, get some experience. And he throws a nice fade ball as you watch it. We call that the fade outside. Throws the ball up high and lets Mark Bradley adjust to it. Mark makes an excellent uh, catch for a touchdown. So Mark ran for a touchdown, or caught a touchdown and threw for a touchdown. <laughs> Pretty good day. Well, uh, per capita, per play, he, he is one of your... Mark, your, Mark makes a lot of plays. A lot. I'm briefly here, Coach, uh, your feelings immediately following the game. Well, we're very satisfied for the players. Uh, again, appreciate their efforts and, and assistant coaches. They put a lot of hard work into it. And it's good to see it come, uh, come to fruition and, and to, to be successful and uh, to get us at 9-0, uh, you know, with an opportunity with all our goals of championships in front of us. Next up, Texas A&M and Norm Norman next weekend. We'll talk about that. Stay with us. For this week's OG&E Power Play of the Game. Here's Jason White on the end of hey, the Bradley. Bradley throws a pass in the end zone. Touchdown, Oklahoma. Mark Bradley to Clayton. What a play as the Sooners needed a big one. They went to the trick play, and it worked beautifully. Holy cow. OG&E Power at the speed of life. A little short on time. Coach, all the votes. Number one again in the coaches' poll. Well, it's, it's, it's good to be in that position, 9-0. and I guess the last, right now, the uh, only undefeated team in the country. Uh, we still are after our goals in the, in the Big 12 championships and, and, and possible national championships. So keep taking them one game at a time. Texas A&M this week will be really important. That's right. The Aggies come into town. That'll be Saturday, an early game, I think, 11 o'clock. 11 o'clock. All right. For Bob Stoops, I'm Dean Blevins. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week. Sooner Football 2003. has been a Sooner Vision.